Uh, uh, one, I want to thank uh, Senator Hoven and Blumenthal for bringing this before the body. <clears throat> it was their idea to focus on what's going on in Iran so that the average American will understand who we're dealing with. And Senator Lieberman has been the ultimate champion for decent treatment throughout the world. And Senator Ayotte, who's uh, been great on national security, the motto of uh, New Hampshire is live free or die. So. And I, North Dakota and South Carolina, I guess, is just why can't we all get along? But uh, <laughs> uh, this has been a historic week when you think about it. Monday, we started with a constitutional referendum in Syria. What a sham. They had elections to change the Syrian constitution. You know, turnout in Homs was poor. Very hard to get to the po polls when there's a tank out in front of your house and snipers are shooting at you. So the idea that these regimes can wrap themselves around the democratic process is an offense to the democratic process. And that's what this resolution is basically saying. You're fooling no one. Why do they disqualify 2,000 people from running? It's the Iranian Council of Guardians. They're an unelected body who literally decides who can run for office. What a concept. Why did they disqualify 2,000 candidates, including people in the parliament? Because they knew if the elections were free and fair, they would lose. That's the good news for America, is if we could ever create a free and fair election in Syria and uh, Iran, the dictators and the, the Ayatollah thugs and Ahmadinejad, who's the ultimate thug, would lose. So just keep the pressure up. And the reason it does matter is what Senator Blumenthal said, believe it or not, Maybe people here don't listen to us, but they do overseas. And I can understand why people would not listen to us about domestic matters, because we're sort of disjointed up here. But when it comes to foreign policy, we have bipartisanship that I wish we could have on entitlement reform. We're having bipartisanship uh, break out all over this body about we're not going to contain a nuclear-armed Iran. We're going to call on the thugs in Iran to allow free and fair elections, and we're going to reject what happened in Syria as being anything close to free and fair elections. So these resolutions matter. And here's the news for the world. The Senate of the United States, and I think the House too, in spite of our domestic difficulties, our inability to solve any major problem in our own backyard, we're coming together in a bipartisan fashion supporting this administration when we think they're right. And when the president said uh, it is unacceptable for the Iranians to obtain a nuclear weapon, we're going to say in mass, you're right, Mr. President. So there's a lot of bipartisanship being formed around foreign policy at a time when we need it. So to the major authors of the two primary sponsors of this resolution, I think it's going to be good news for the Senate that we can take the floor in a bipartisan uh, manner and talk about things going on in the world that really does matter. And finally, does it matter that we speak up for the people in Syria and Iran? Yes, it does. Because when America is quiet in the face of oppression and tyranny, oppression and tyranny does very well. When America speaks out, it emboldens those who are risking their lives and it puts the thugs uh, on the defensive. So I couldn't be more proud to be associated with this and just watch over the coming weeks as the Senate in a bipartisan fashion begins to speak out uh, regarding the dangers of our times and side with those who are struggling to be free, something sometimes we take for granted. Thank you.